Hi, I'm Eric Lichwager and welcome to another episode of Quick Chop. Today we're going to be doing a potato gratin, which is another French recipe that I adore. And it's very simple and just a few ingredients, so let's get chopping. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. Okay, potato gratin is really just a simple French recipe of just a few simple ingredients. Potatoes, cream, uh, garlic, um, Gruyere cheese, a little bit of nutmeg and milk. I might put in sometimes a little bit of white wine just to change it up a little bit. It's really a one pan dish and uh, you can obviously make it more dressy if you like. With a lot of potato dishes, the important thing is the type of potato you're going to use. The potatoes I prefer are the Yukon Golds. You want the Yukon Golds because they hold up when you slice them and cook them. They hold up in the pan and they don't break down. If you tried to use russets or something like that, they would just fall apart when they started cooking. I've already peeled these and they're kind of all ready to go. Now you can just slice them with your knife if you want, but you want fairly thin slices. If you don't have the time for that, we have a great little toy, which is called a mandolin. So it's one of those gadgets that I actually find pretty useful in the kitchen. It's a time saver and it works really, really well. It's got a blade and you can adjust the height or the thickness just to be safe here. We got these little gadget here that's gonna kind of hold on to that potato for you. And then you can just kind of slide that thing along. It's gonna take those tips right out. And when you have small potatoes like this, it goes pretty quick. So that's what we want. Nice, thin slice. They're gonna cook pretty quickly like that. Pretty much just, just the same as the knife. So we're just gonna zip through these guys real quick. These things are very sharp, so it's good to keep your hands away. Can we do two at once? Let's try it. It works. There, just a couple of minutes and we got a nice bunch of perfectly sliced potatoes for our gratin. Okay, one of the other ingredients we're using here is gonna be garlic. We don't wanna chop it up. We're gonna leave the cloves kind of big enough so I can find them again because I don't wanna leave them in the dish. They're just gonna be in there while we get it started with the cream. So you can use several, because since you're not chopping it up, you still wanna get that flavor. Technique I like to use for the garlic is just flat of the knife, put it on there, pop it with your hand. Just comes out nice and neat like that. Hitting it with the knife also kinda helps it release the flavor a little bit. You're just breaking the outside of it, so it's nice and pungent. Grandmother taught me that. I'm gonna start with some milk. Now, you don't wanna pour cold milk into a hot pan, so bring that pan up to temperature with the milk in it. I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic in there. Salt, just a touch of white wine, and just start laying in your potatoes. You can use uh, shredded Gruyere. It's a Gruyere cheese, by the way, from France, which can save you a lot of time and also works very, very well. Or if you get the chunks like I did, I'm just gonna make some small, I'm just gonna slice all this up. How much cheese you wanna use really depends upon you. Now you just want this to come up to a simmer. I don't want it to hard boil kind of break, cut up a little bit more. All 
Okay, so it's, it's kind of simmering a little bit here. The milk is actually starting to thicken just a bit. It's what we want. Now we could do this one pan. We could just kind of leave it in here, maybe fish the garlic out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a more of a presentation pan, like a casserole, and then we'll put it in the oven. The important thing is keep an eye on it. Don't really walk away. The milk could, uh, if you don't pay attention to it, it can boil over and make your stove a mess. So time on the potatoes, probably about 10 minutes at, at this. And you can kind of feel them. They don't need to be thoroughly cooked because we're gonna finish this in the oven. So we're like a medium low heat right now. One of the beauties of using that mandolin to cut them thin is they're gonna cook pretty quickly. So we're ready to move to the next part of this. Now I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and I'm just gonna kind of lift out the potatoes and lay them in with a casserole dish here. You don't want to fully cook them at this point because they'll start breaking apart on you. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is I'm also watching to get the garlic out of there because I don't want to leave that in. You could, it won't hurt anything. It just could be a little strong. It would overpower some of the other flavors that you're after. I'm just kind of laying in a layer here. Got one layer, so now I'm gonna put in a little bit of this cheese, the okay, gruyere, not all of it, just a little bit. I'm gonna take some of this creme fraiche, spoon that in as well. It's just a creamy, wonderful flavoring when this cooks up. And don't worry about spreading the, the creme fraiche around. As it gets hot, it's gonna start just breaking down and kind of oozing into the rest of the dish. That's about five ounces of the creme fraiche there. Yeah, a lot of these things you can get down the street here at the Mission Grocery Outlet, it's a great place, good pricing. You know, if they don't have it, I mean, you know, sometimes they don't always have the Gruyere, but that's fine. You can grab that someplace else. I'm tempted to eat that garlic. And I've already got the oven preheating to uh, 425, pretty hot. Everything's almost pretty cooked. One important step, now the Gruyere is salty, but we still want to add just a little bit more salt. Final salt, it's an important step. And then the nutmeg. So we do put nutmeg in this. So the thing with the nutmeg is, I, I, I use the nutmeg nuts and just this grater, and I'm just gonna put that. Mm, it smells great. And I'm just gonna put a uh, layer of the gruyere across the top. Now we're just gonna pour that mixture in over the rest. There we go. Oven's preheated, so I'm gonna put that right into the center. Now that's gonna stay in there for anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. So we're just gonna let that bake. It'll get a nice brown on the edge, on the top of it. We'll just check it here periodically. Okay, so that's about 20 minutes now. It's nice simmering away, getting a little brown on the top. Getting close to getting done. If it starts browning too much, you can obviously turn down the temperature just a little bit. Okay, we've been in there about 45 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out. Now, it's still bubbling pretty good. But that's okay. It's... Now we're just gonna let it sit for a bit because it's gonna thicken up. So we're just gonna let that rest. Everything will kind of solidify a little bit. It's way too hot to eat now anyway. Looks good though. It's 
kind of percolate it down a little bit. There's a little bit of liquid in there, it's the fat. And if I left that in there longer, it would cook off a little bit more, but that's fine. Okay, a little final step here. I'm just going to dress this uh, arugula here. I, so I've served this with a little prosciutto and a little arugula just to kind of tie it together. Perfect. Nice light dinner. A uh, Michael Schlumberger. Schlumberger. It's a Sauvignon Blanc down at Mission Grocery Outlet. All this stuff came from Mission Grocery Outlet. Wonderful, nice, crisp Sauvignon Blanc. That is a great accompaniment for this dish. Super great if you just want something nice and hearty but not too heavy for the evening. This is a great afternoon or evening meal. Well, thanks for tuning in for Potatoes Dauphinois or Potatoes Gratin. And don't forget to follow us on newsupnow.org, Instagram, Quick Chop Show, YouTube. We're on the Mission Grocery Outlet page. Thanks for watching Quick Chop, and we'll see you next time. Let's try.